Hi everybody, today we are going to practice orally retelling your report about your new fantasy creature that you made up last week. So today it's going to just help you remember the plans for your writing so that when we go to write our report later in the week, all our ideas have been practiced and we know exactly what it is we're going to write. So I'm going to retell my report all about the Womagon. I have practiced this a couple of times, I'm going to try and get it right it is quite a challenge, so hopefully at home you can have a good practice as well. It doesn't matter if you don't get it right the first time. I'm going to underline my subheadings with my arm like this, so you can practice doing the same at home, because that will remind you when you're writing yours, where to include your subheadings in your writing. Okay, Womagons, appearance. Womagons have orange wings, oh, brighter than fire, and green bristles all over their backs. Habitat. Womagons live deep below the ground, underneath the rabbit's warrens. Diet. Womagons are fierce carnivores because they eat small, juicy mice and tasty... Oh, oh, I did that one wrong again! I'm going, to do, I'm going to carry on because I did that wrong when I was writing it the other day, you might remember. Let me do that section again. I forgot that I had my and in my sentence of three and I said and where my comma is supposed to be. Right, let's try that bit again. Diet. Womagons are ferocious carnivores because they eat tasty mice, juicy rats and other small woodland creatures. Behaviour. Womagons are fierce, quick and cunning. They can gallop as fast as a horse but can also fly. Interesting fact, Womagons are terrified of lightning. If they see it, they will hide in their hole for one year. Oh, well, I hope you agree. I think I did okay, but I might go back and practice that now with a friend until I think I really know, especially my section where I put diet, because that's quite a complex sentence there. I've got two connectives used in a different way. So when you're practicing yours, you might want to video yourself doing it and put it on Evidence Me so we can have a look at school.